Hello everybody. Today we're going to take a look at Wheel Shimmy. So it's another beautiful day in the beginning of March and I installed an extra camera under the uh, wing. I attached it to the tie down ring and this way I can have a look at the wheels, especially the main gear, to take a look at the landing gear while braking during the rollout and see if there's any wheel shimmy. So with the camera installed we can now do the uh, startup of the airplane and start taxiing to the um, runway. During previous landings I had the idea that I felt wheel shimmy, especially in the uh, left main gear. And the idea is that this time I can see if that uh, is correct. The piece of metal you can see for the left main gear is the pitot tube. It looks like it's in the way, but maybe it actually can give a good reference to see the wheel shimmy. RC7, 1 POB, captain's name is Heimans, uh, half an hour local flight, request aerodrome information. Yeah, this is the runway 08. 08, right, and Papa November X-ray. 1 POB. 1 POB. So the abbreviation of the Papa Hotel Mike November X-ray is Papa November X-ray. And as it turns out, there is actually another Papa November X-ray in the circuit. Although Teug is not a controlled airfield, there is a small tower and the people over there recognize the potential confusion. In order to prevent confusion I decided to use the abbreviation Mike November X-ray, which is non-standard but works okay. I decided to do the run-up in the area where normally the paras are loaded in the airplane. Three on correct. Okay. Flight instruments. Set. Goed. Uh, fuel pump 2 aanzetten. Papa Hotel Papa November X-ray is turning final 08 number 2. Roger. Echt. Okay. The run up with the UL power engine is quite simple. You only need to check the coils and check if the propeller blades are uh, pitching. And that's about it. I do the run up on a different fuel pump as I do the taxiing. So I have both fuel pumps tested. And depending on the amount of fuel in the left wing, which is the only one who has a return line, I also switch tanks. And during takeoff, I use both fuel pumps. Takeoff, Right hand, sir. Right hand, sir. Configure 360 to allow for traffic about me. Okay. Uh, these are the both. Papa Lima Romeo is leaving the circuit. We're done. Talk to the phone again. Papa Lima Romeo, have a good flight. Thanks for visit. Ciao. Although I need the wing mounted camera only for the landing to check on the wheel shimmy, I think the image is actually quite good so I keep it uh, on during the flight. And also I found out that I should have mounted it on the right wing because uh, during landing the sun is shining from the south and which means that I have uh, more shadow than I, uh, than I wanted, but it's still very usable. I have found that uh, during takeoff, when I lift the tail, there is a quite a big force to the left. You need to counter that with uh, more right rudder, but it's much more than I uh, than I'm let's say used to. 
the same happens this time as you can as you will see. Michael van Brexley lining up zero eight. The problem is that uh, with the UL power engine, there is so much power in the machine that even before you can, let's say, figure out that you need to rotate, you're already already in the air, which means that you you take off from a three-point position, which is uh, wrong, and you will see that happen again. The next flight, I really, really need to take uh, care of this because it's uh, potentially dangerous. There is just a huge amount of uh, power in this uh, engine and uh, yeah, where with a Cup or a Cessna you have some time to uh, check the gauges from the engine and see if everything is okay. There is uh, almost no time here, as soon as you uh, go full throttle the machine wants to jump into the air. One of the instruments I want to check is the G-meter, so I'm flying to a non-residential area which in my case is farmland and I will make some very steep turns in order to get at least uh, 2G on my meter see if, uh, if that checks out The remainder of this uh, short flight is mostly rechecking some things I did in previous flights. Uh, things like a stall and different propeller pitches and power settings. Before I return back to the field uh, to check the wheel shimmy, which is actually one of the most important things. I probably should have made several landings uh, to check wheel shimmy however I uh, felt the wheel shimmy during braking and I thought okay let's first see what uh, what the camera shows I heard that another plane was already overhead Shira, so at the entry point, so I decided to make a, another turn, a last turn before I uh, go to the entry point of the circuit. The approach altitude at Teugen is 700 feet, so that's not that high, but it results in a beautiful view. Uh, 
Checking to see if there is any other inbound traffic, but turns out there is none. Okay, so let's join downwind and in final I will switch to the other camera so we can really focus on the uh, wheel shimming during braking. So what you will see after our touchdown is that I first don't hit the brakes at all. So I just let it uh, roll out because I was wondering if the wheels would shimmy if the airplane kind of loses speed uh, during uh, just rollout. But it doesn't. And then I, uh, I touch the brakes briefly. You will see that uh, both wheels, but especially the right wheel, you can see it very good. Uh, start shimmying, then I release the brakes again to see if it will keep shimmying or is, if it will uh, stop shimmying. Uh, it stops shimmying and after that, after a few seconds, I will uh, brake harder and you will also see that uh, the shimmying uh, is more pronounced, so it, uh, it depends on how hard I hit the brakes, uh, which is good to know. Uh, and also, I think uh, the shimmying is not that bad. Um, as I said earlier, I installed wooden rods um, next to my um, gear legs, uh, which is an option uh, to prevent shimmying actually, and uh, so I immediately build that option. But it doesn't completely eliminate it, it, it just reduces it, I, I guess. Here is the first short break. And here is the second harder break. As you can see, there is uh, more wheel shimmy, but it uh, very quickly dies out if I uh, release the brakes. Next time I will fly with my son and we will do some checks to see how the indicated airspeed relates to the ground speed uh, in different directions to see if the pedostatic system is correct. Okay, continuing flying my pie in the sky.